The purpose of this video is to show you how to fill in forms or worksheets using Easy PDF Reader Pro. Now I have this worksheet, but before we begin, you want to select the features that you're going to use. And to do that, you click on the wrench here that has the list of the features. And the ones I have selected are Sticky Note, Drawing, Typewriter, Text Box, and Highlight. So once you have the features that you want to use selected, those are the only ones that will appear on the top of the screen. Now, to fill out this form, I'm going to show you how to put a box in. And you do that by clicking on the text box, which is the T surrounded by a square. So once you click on that, you make your text box. And you'll get this box, which allows you to type your comment or speak your comment by clicking on the microphone. And this is just for demonstration only. This is what happens when you speak into the microphone. And when you're done speaking into the microphone, you click on the microphone. And when it's finished recording, you press OK. And so whatever you spoke or typed into the box will conform beautifully. Now, if you want to make a correction, all you got to do is open and click to wherever you want to make a correction and click the X to X out of it or um, make your correction however you want just by using the keyboard. Now if you want to add a question you simply click on the box click on reply and speak. This will be question number one. Press OK and your question will appear on the bottom and highlight it. You want to add another question, press OK, click on the box, speak. This will be question number two. Click OK. And so your questions will appear uh, one behind the other. But the only thing that will appear on the screen will be the comment. Now, one thing you can do with this box is that you can select it and move it however you wish and you can click on properties and you can change what you want your question to to be or, or whatever you want to appear here you can ch change the color you can change the thickness of the line and you can change the font so let's say I want to make the text bigger I'll click 12 and I say OK and OK again and so the text is I think bigger. Let me make it bigger than 8. Let me make it 14. Make it 14. Press OK. As you can see the text is a little bit bigger. And then so if you want the box to conform with the text, all you got to do is move the box. And so it's really really easy to all you got to do is move the box and as you can see the text conforms to whatever the box is. Now what I like to do is make it a little smaller so I'll make it 9 press OK and that's a little bit better for me. Now another text box that you can use is the one that's surrounded by an angle and you click on it you tap on it and you tap wherever you want to begin and I'm going to speak into it and watch what happens when I speak into this text box. It is not the same as the other. Stop speaking and the reason I don't want to use this text box is because I'm going to have to work a little harder to uh, keep it within the area that I want to keep it in and so in order to do that I gotta press edit edit and then go back go down here and choose the typewriter and click where I want to click it 
make the hard return so you see I have to work a little harder to edit this box so I prefer not to use it so to delete it I just simply click on it press delete okay and it's gone now another feature that I like is the filling in the little boxes and you do that by clicking on the square and making a little square right there and then you can move it by clicking on it and there go your square another thing you can do is write on it by clicking on the pen then you'll get this uh, screen on the top of the screen and you can write your comment if you want and you can even use do this to check your boxes and when you're done you click the arrow so you can get out of the editing screen for writing and if you don't want to use what you wrote you click on the box and click delete so that's how you use the forms hope this helps thank you